Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We got a bit of an overcast day this morning, but that's not going to slow us down. Um, I have come to the grand conclusion that I have once again made a bit of a mess and loaded this space with a lot of junk, a lot of half-finished projects. So today is going to be a day of trying to finish up as many projects. I mean, no project is ever really done on this boat, but um, at least do enough of each project to clear up some space. So. Um, that's the goal for this morning, and let's get started. Having a sturdy lunch and uh, next up on the docket is to start sealing all that stuff up so I gotta pull down the boards I put up because I was just dry fitting them and then we gotta coat some stuff in epoxy lay in some insulation put up a vapor barrier and then finally put up uh, the boards again and I gotta gotta decide do I paint them or do I stain them I don't know if I stain them they're gonna need a lot of sanding because they're kind of dirty right now <laughs> I think I might just paint them white it's nice to have light colors in a small cabin like that. Anyway, let's get back to work. to the end of another productive day. Um, a lot of epoxy work, and I think that's gonna be a going trend. A lot of epoxy work on this boat, especially if I want it to be strong, which I do. I am exhausted. I'm gonna make some dinner and then clean this place up. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. There's a very important part of running a fully off-the-grid electric boat, and that is being efficient with that electricity which means insulation. If I'm gonna keep the heat in or keep the cool in or whatever it is I'm doing, I need some insulation. Now on a boat, insulating can be kind of tricky because you are short on space. So I'm only getting R5 insulation most places that's one inch of foam, but uh, something's better than nothing. So let's get started. All right, we got some insulation in. I'm starting to cut up the plywood to sandwich onto those boards. Um, I'm really only sandwiching plywood in certain structural areas because I want it to be kind of uh, like a thin box frame, um, epoxied all together and, and it adds a lot of structural strength. So that main wall, for instance, where I've been working, that's a big point where I would like 
you know, the hulls to be extremely strong, um, that we could take monster waves and not have the hulls buckle or shift in any way. And uh, yeah, that should allow us to survive some big storms. Hopefully this work I'm doing now will pay off the way down the road. And hopefully we won't get any major storms, but you know, you don't survive storms by not planning for them, so. I'm having another fancy Mr. Noodle, this time with uh, turkey dogs. And uh, I gotta say, this is becoming my new favorite lunch. It is so cheap. All right, we got the inside of that door skin. And we got those two walls inside all epoxied up. Uh, yeah, so I used uh, some cardboard templates and then drew them out on this plywood, cut it out. I'm not using marine grade for this stuff because, uh, like I said before, it's not an external wall. So I'm not going to bother, but I am coating it all in epoxy because at first I wasn't going to do that. But the more I dig into this boat, the more I see that anywhere where epoxy was, the wood is good. Anywhere where it wasn't, wood's bad. So epoxy looks like the way to go. I'm gonna go drag my dinghy to shore and go meet with Vern. I've got some interesting packages that came in. Let's go check it out. I dropped the dinghy off at the government dock this time, just in kind of like the temporary zone. Hopefully I don't get into any trouble, but tide's so low right now, I don't think the dinghy would survive. I know they're dragging all the way across the beach and back, because right where I'm more usually my dinghy, it's easily 50 feet worth of dragging and uh yeah there's a gaping hole in it right now <laughs> i really got to do the haul out soon but we got nothing but rain coming up and just not lining up right it's too cold still right there. Oh, I tell you what, you don't come by the play ball. He's over here too. <laughs> all right, well, we're picking up a couple packages here. This is all a bunch of stuff from the wish list that uh, Nathan picked us up, including a new high-powered floodlight. We've already got a couple smaller ones. This one's even bigger. We've got a nice scale here so that I can finally start getting accurate measurements on my epoxy, which should help a lot. <laughs> and of course, another fuse block because we're doing more 12 volt coming up very soon. So thanks a lot, Nathan, and uh, thank you to everybody who's been hitting up the Amazon wish list. It does help big time. All the small little bits of electronics and stuff that this boat needs to get going. Really appreciate the help. <laughs> Okay, so structurally we're doing a lot better over here. I would show you, but uh, a lot of this epoxy here is drying. If you check on the inside wall here, put the skin on, it's almost everywhere and it's coated in epoxy on both sides. Same thing over here, it's a coated on epoxy on both sides and there's uh, about an inch and a half of uh, Douglas fir that's also coated in epoxy and some insulation in there. So just a reminder, this is the main structural bulkhead kind of in the center of the boat. Uh, it's not pivotal to the original Warham plans, but to my new plan with this big cabin above, it is pivotal. And so I've uh, strengthened the crud out of it. And once this epoxy dries, I'll be able to sand up the edges and start working on some of these other uh, bulkheads, little tiny ones. I've been laying in the wiring as I go. Um, there's just a few pieces that have to go across here, so I uh, wired all of that up. The rest of it is all going in, in main channels I'll be able to work on, but there's a few little lights and switches that need to be tucked away per more permanently. 
I think my next word of business is to line up all the foam again and, and start vapor burying this thing so that we can lay the outer walls in. Yeah, lots of epoxy, lots of coating, lots of plywood, lots of excitement. I love seeing walls go up. Well, Captain Mike has informed me that it's currently quitting time and I couldn't agree with him more. We've done some good work today. He's working on his caboose and he's brought over a couple beer. I haven't seen you crack a beer no. since I got out here. Didn't I have one with you one time? Oh yeah, once, yeah. You're working hard though. Uh, a little bit too... Uh... Life is, is just always mysterious and surprising. You all you never know what's around the next corner. It being the end of a long day, I wanted to get the chance to give Champ another walk and explore this area really close to my boat. This is the boat launch and it's just off my starboard side and I never go here. Champ, come here. You're in there probably, come here. Wrong side of the fence, buddy. Jeez. Jeez, what a guy. of engine that is but who knows maybe my diesel will go the same route up on a beach someday rusting to pieces it's all it's good for future is electric and then the future after that who knows warp course star trek that's how it's going next but uh not today today i'm just heading back to the boat and i'll make some dinner <laughs> up 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for me tonight. I got some more epoxy work done. I'm waiting for it all to dry. The storm's rolling in, so I got the boat battened down and everything sealed up. A couple of tarps over some sections, and I'm just gonna crash. I'm just gonna go right to bed. I don't think I can stay awake for another minute. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up and do this all over again. <laughs> It'll all be worth it one day. It'll all be worth it. Right now I'm just, I'm exhausted. Good night.